Hi my lovelies, welcome back to my channel. I thought I would start my first kind of Christmassy vlog, although there's videos going up before this one. Um, basically it's the 1st of December, we are about to put the Christmas tree up, it's 5pm. I'm so excited, I got my Christmas pyjamas on, literally I got my Grinch ones, I got these in Primark like a month ago. The only thing I would say though, I would have sized up so I could have fit them a bit off the shoulder, because you know what I'm like guys, I've got a strapped up under here, it's not a bra. And um, I would have put them a little bit bigger so they can be off the shoulder, but hey, they're not. Anyway, I'm going to film us, I thought I would start the vlog here because basically I'm not going to film the whole shebang of me putting the Christmas up, Christmas tree up, but I'm going to show you guys the before of the spot, the after, some of the special decorations, we're having a party tea, um, tomorrow we're going to go on a bit of a festive walk, so I just thought I'd walk, what was I doing there, and so I thought I'd just film um, tonight and yeah, so basically that's what we're doing. So, let me show you the spot where the Christmas tree is going to go. And we've got some party food. Um, usually I'd have a glass of wine, but weirdly enough, I'm feeling kind of dehydrated today. So, I'm not really fancying a glass of wine. I just want, like, some peach juice. <laughs> um, I'm not really sure what's going on there. Usually I'm like, glass of wine, it's happening, but I'm not 100% vibing it tonight. So, I'm going to show you guys where the Christmas tree is going to go and what it looks like just now. <laughs> Lee just literally called the bath and he's like, ah. <laughs> peeked his head around the door so he's not in the camera but anyway i'm going to show you guys where the christmas tree is going to go um and what it looks like right now so this is where our christmas tree usually goes and our pink chair would usually go here but we've got a leather chair here which matches our sofa well it doesn't kind of match it's kind of off off color but anyway i was going to put that chair here but because that's there i think it's just going to have to go over here um so anyway the christmas tree is going to go here in five four three two one Ta da Look how beautiful the tree is. And this is the skirt tree that I got in the range this year. Literally treated myself to it because I just thought it was absolutely stunning. It matches our little baby. It's cold cushion and our little trees down there. We've got our stockings, which I got in B&M's. Um, absolutely love these. And then we've got this little Christmas stein that I actually got in Poundland, I think, a couple of years ago. We've got a candle burning. We've got our little tree that I got in the range. Um, and yeah, we've just got our little... Christmas display and our little fire burning from YouTube <laughs> and Merry Christmas sign the wall and I absolutely love it honestly. Louie what's your thoughts on the Christmas tree out of 10? I absolutely love it. Nine. <laughs> Go on. Solid 10. Solid. Would you give it a solid 10 this year? I think it's our best yet. I absolutely love it. Now I'm going to go and have... Yes please Lou. Um, onion, lettuce, you name it. Sugar all in, we're making a salad as well to go with our picky dinner. But, onion? <laughs> um, so yeah, that is our Christmas tree up. We're gonna have some picky food now, aren't we, Lou? A tradition. I also want to show you guys my wine glass because it is extremely extra um, and I just flipping love it. Um, where is it, Lou? Let's get this kitchen. <laughs> Lou's like, ah, where am I gonna go? Where am I gonna go? Where's the, where is the wine? Oh, here it is. I'll stand here, Lou, don't worry. And we've got um, my Christmas Queen wine glass, which I got from Matalan. I decided to have a glass of wine in the end. Dinner is served. Your Christmas fleece, check. Little picky selection dinner, check. And a glass of vino, triple check. I'm just about to film. To start off, it's this is literally ended. the third attempt. I've tried to start this, and every time I do it, Lou keeps laughing. Mm. So I've woken up guys, I'm just gonna keep it real. Put my, uh, <laughs> I was gonna do some like really emotional like, and the 3rd of December I wake up with a Christmas mug ducking out to the snow. But then Lou just keeps laughing so I'm not gonna do that. Um, basically I'm having a cup of tea in my North Pole mug that I got from TK Maxx, admiring our Christmas tree. Um, absolutely stunning. Um, and I'm gonna have a cup of tea in this and look out to the sunset, well it's not sunsetting, but the sun rising with the snow melting. It's really nice out there this morning. Um, yeah, lovely.
believe I'm going on the camera like this, but my Christmas tree lights have just fallen off. I've just gone off. They're on like a timer so that if I ever forget to switch them off, I can just switch them back on. Oh my gosh, I'm falling. Oh my gosh, I just love the Christmas tree. Just makes you feel amazing, doesn't it? So anyway, it's a couple of hours later. I ended up staying at my mum and dad's. Um, for a cup of coffee and look at this. I literally, because dad messaged me this morning, was like, do you want to just go out for a walk straight away? I was like, yeah, okay, dad. So I literally got up, um, had my cup of tea and like half past 10 we went out for a dog walk. It's now like half past four and I've only just got in. But because um, he just literally messaged me straight away, I was like, can you be ready in 10 minutes? I've literally had, not even touched my hair with heat today. I've just left it up. Um, and I'm literally in the most scruffiest outfit. So I've just run myself a nice bubble bath. Um, and because I've left Lou in charge of the house all day, he had lunch and it looks like he's cooked a six course meal. Like there's so many dishes and usually I would like do the dishes straight away. But because we live in a flat, sometimes I like to get a bath when like the dishes and the kitchen area is tidy. But because we live in a flat, if you use up, like basically, like, how can I explain it? I don't fill the sink up with water, I use a dishmatic, so I use up quite a lot of water doing the dishes. Um, basically, long story short, is if I use up the water for the dishes, then I've got to wait another half an hour to get a bath. So Lou's gone out on a walk with his dad's dog. At the moment, he always walks his dad's dog. We might as well get ourselves a dog. <laughs> um, so Lou's gone and walked, walked his dad's dog. He'll be gone for about an hour and a half. He's usually gone about an hour and a half. So I thought to myself, have a nice bubble bath just now, and then um, a nice half an hour in the bubble bath, get out, do the dishes, tidy the, tidy the kitchen, have a little declutter around in my new jammies. Um, so that's what I'm gonna do. So look at that tree. Oh, just blissfulness, isn't it? So yeah, that is what I'm gonna do. And I put this gorgeous kind of like um, sprinkle. My mum gave me it. It's like she got it in a, a glossy box or something. Um, and it's like this bath tin. Let me show you. So I put bubbles in the bath, but it's like this. I'll show you in a second. It's like, can you see that? It's like kind of purpley. Oh, it's not put enough in. Let me put some more. So this is the stuff that I put in, it's called Bubble Tea Star Dust. I'm not sure what it's meant to do, it's just a foaming bath powder. But let's try and open it up and put some more in. Can I do it? Oh yeah, look. So you just scatter it in. Come on, come on, out you go. And it just makes your bath all pink and just beautiful. Love it. Absolutely love that. I think I've used it all up now. Let's have a look. Yeah, let's just shove it all in. We'll go out looking a bit pink. There you go. Now, let's have a look what this looks like now. Look at that. Give it a swoosh. And you get into a nice pink bubble bath. I think it'll probably leave quite bad marks around the side of the bath though. So, anyway, all in the name of having a nice pink bubble bath. Love it. I like this candle, honestly, it's absolutely amazing. It's called, it's from a brand. I'm just about to light this candle. One of my best friends got me this for our, our engagement. And it is called Unwind, and it's from a brand called Nathalie, Nathalie, is it? Nathalie Bond, I don't know. Anyway, literally guys, you need to get this candle in your life. It smells amazing. I burn it every single bath, and I've been burning it every bath for like, the last month and it's just because it's an exp I think it's because it's a better branded candle it lasts really well so yeah if you want a nice unwinding candle um, to burn while you're in the bath it's gorgeous and it's lavender and bergamot soya wax and it's with these <coughs> bless me um, absolutely amazing candle so yeah I'm gonna get into this bath love it Bliss. Also upgraded our bathroom window. Um, I've gone for this like little green plant, a little get naked sign, and holla! Um, this really nice mirror that I got in B&M's. Um, basically, I just felt like it needed a revamp. Um, I kind of might paint this white, I think, to match. I don't know. Um, it's just stained and not very nice looking. But there's our little bathroom unit thing there. The get naked thing matches our bath mat. If you can remember, we've got a get naked bath mat, so I quite like that. So I've just finished filming three YouTube videos. I feel so accomplished. So, um, yeah, last night, I don't know what happened. I am becoming the world's worst YouTuber. The world's worst YouTuber. I was like having a bath and feeling all luxurious and then I stopped filming. So anyway, yeah, I've just filmed my home bargains haul, a b and haul, no, home bargains and Poundland haul and I have just, um, what else have I done? 
filmed a Q&A video so my head's a little bit caboodled but yeah I thought I'd finished the vlog that I was actually meant to be finishing last night um but life just it's just, I don't know what is going on at the moment but anyway I am going to prepare some vegetables for tonight's dinner I thought I would just stay with you guys and have a chin wag tonight um because now my makeup's actually done and I'm just feeling a little bit luscious um I just think at the moment I've ended up getting myself in a bit of a rut because like me and Luke haven't really got much structure to our day and um yeah, that's the answer to it, basically. I think it's just me I've got my two structure, but I'm loving my hair. I know a lot of you keep saying in the comments, let's see how many times I touch the hair, but as you, a lot of you know, and I think I've talked about it a few times, I actually feel really self-conscious. I have felt really self-conscious about it the last few weeks, and so I'm really sorry if it annoys any of you that I've been touching my hair. I only do it because it wasn't at the length I wanted it when she cut it, but today I've straightened it, and I really feel confident, and I really like it today. So I am sorry if it's bugged any of you, because I've noticed in a few vlogs, people are like, let's see how many times I touch the hair in the video, and you probably don't mean it horribly but actually I'm only doing it because I feel a bit self-conscious about it. So anyway I am going to tidy up the mess which is the after of a YouTube situation. Do you want to see the floor? We were meant to put the Christmas lights up today as well, the Christmas decorations outside the flat but we just never got around to doing it because the weather has just been so wet and windy and awful but look at this, look at my the aftermath of a YouTube video situation. Got like bags here and I'm just going to give you like, I'm just going to like cover the stuff so you can actually have a surprise still. But look at all that, it's just literal stuff everywhere. Got my lights here. So I'm going to tidy it all away and I'm going to then get ready for dinner. I'm going to cut some carrots and stuff up for dinner because Lou said, just Lou's out on a dog walk and he was like, hey, you know like when you get in, can you like have dinner organised? I was like, right Lou, alright, I'll have our dinner organised. So for dinner tonight we are having lamb, which I'm so excited about. I'm going to lay it out here and I'll show you. Tonight's dinner, we're going to have some lamb chops, one lamb chop each, I'm looking forward to these, some petty fry peas, some roasted parsnips, we're going to have some carrots, um, buttery carrots, so I'm going to roast these, and I'm going to boil these and have these with some nice garlic butter, oh my gosh guys, they're literally amazing, and then I know a lot of you, actually do you know what, a lot of you have said it's actually not too bad, I have the mashed potato, um, the pre-made mashed potato because it's just easy and do you know what, I probably could make it myself, but yeah, just, you know, I'm having lots of veggies here so that can compensate, and to be honest I don't think it's that unhealthy for you, it's all green there, it's just a little bit higher in the salt, and then I'm just going to have a couple of Yorkshire puddings and some gravy, and oh my gosh I'm so excited for this, literally cannot wait for this dinner, and Lou makes such nice gravy, it's just going to be divine. <laughs> I'm so excited for a Friday night. You can't go wrong, really. And dinner is served. We've got buttery carrots, we've got parsnips, peas, two Yorkshire puddings, mashed potato, and lamb steaks. Oh my gosh. Are the lamb steaks are chops, Lou. Lamb chops. Um, I've got a nice glass in our little Christmas festive mug, and I've broken the rules, and I've got it in Lou's L. Um, I've got some pineapple juice there, so I literally cannot wait to eat this. It looks incredible. Try to blame me then for not finishing... Um, <laughs> not finishing the can of Fanta and I was like no I swear it was you you were the one that took it out of the fridge while we were having dinner can you genuinely have you forgotten about that <laughs> anyway guys I have literally just fallen asleep on the sofa like half past one in the morning we are hooked on the crown we switched the Christmas lights off haven't we Lou we've switched all the lights off in the flat I just thought oh my gosh I better end this vlog because I am the worst YouTuber ever if I don't um, Lou say night to the YouTube world no, no. Nighty night, nighty night, because now we're watching The Crown, if you know what's The Crown, they all speak very posh, you know, um, that's how they speak, this is how their language is, you can tell I'm tired. Anyway, <laughs> um, I am going to go to bed and I'm going to vlog tomorrow because me, mum, my little sister, well I think I'm going to vlog tomorrow, um, I'm, yeah I am, I think, I'm pretty sure I am. <laughs> I'm just taking each day as it comes, but I've de decided between now and Christmas, so my first vlog went up yesterday, I'm going to vlog upload 10 vlogs between now and the 25th of December so I'm just gonna name every vlog a name and then vlog vlogmas one two three so I'm gonna vlog, upload 10 vlogs so let's see if we can do it let me know in the comments do you think I can upload 10 vlogs between now and Christmas we'll see what happens but that is my goal I'm not gonna do it every day I've taken the comments in loads of you said you did actually enjoy vlogmas but a vlog every day was too much Lou's looking at me like what is vlogmas Lou do you know what vlogmas is he's like I've got a clue anyway 
I've decided because since I'm not going to vlog every single day because my life is really boring, I know people enjoy vlogmas so I'm going to vlog either day in the life, three days and then like three days worth of what I'm up to and then upload it. So like basically just a lot of vlogs, 10 vlogs between now and Christmas. This is the second one. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed seeing us put our Christmas tree, tree up and um, tomorrow we, once I'm going to go to Christmas fair with my mum and my little sister and me and Lou are finally going to get around to putting the Christmas lights up outside our house. So that'll be nice. And also I've decided, as I said earlier, I really like my hair at the moment. It's, it's kind of got to the length that I originally asked for. So thumbs up about that but anyway i hope you all have a lovely evening and yeah i'll see you all in the next vlog night guys thanks so much for watching